Yes, people, wife a boy. And while it's the international break, I am talking Arsenal and formations. The summer transfer window is fully shut. It is complete. We've seen the signings Arsenal made and the sales. So today I'm going to talk about what kind of formations I expect us to use going in to the Premier League games once the international break is done, starting with Norwich next Saturday. So yeah, I'm not only going to talk about the formation, I'm also going to talk about defensive and attacking formations because teams nowadays in football is fluid. It changes from defence to attack. Different players play in different positions depending on whether you're defending or attacking. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing to my Road to 600 as I post a lot of football content, mostly centred around Arsenal, but other general Premier League games as well. And while you're down there, also let me know your starting uh, formation for Arsenal. You could be an Arsenal fan or a general football fan. Leave a formation and your starting lineup if you choose. So yeah, I'm going to talk about my general strongest 11 first, and then I'll go into the attacking and defensive lineup. So for me, the strongest keeper... It is Burn Leno for Arsenal. I think Aaron Ramsdale is good. I think he's good competition for Leno. But for me, Leno is the starting keeper. Having Ramsdale there, though, is great for Leno. It is absolutely amazing. Because now Leno knows that he has to be on top form because Ramsdale's ready to take him over. When we had Renarsson, Okwonko, Carl Hine, Leno knew he was in the team every single week because none of those boys were replacing him. With Ramsdale here now, breathing down Leno's neck, Leno knows he has to be on top form. He played all right against Man City, don't get me wrong. He made a couple of good saves, but he has to do better with the first goal. There's rumours floating around that Ramsdale could start against Norwich. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind Ramsdale starting, getting some games. But I think our strongest 11 is Leno in goal. So Leno, for me, has to go in goal. I think it is a back four. I know people saying back five this, but the way I'm going to set up this formation, I'll tell you why it's going to be a back four. So for me, Leno in goal. Right back, Tomiyasu, just signed. Five-star weak foot tall, six foot two, commanding, can get forward if he wants to, good defensively, aerially. I think he's a much better right back. And of course, we have sold Bellerin, uh, sorry, not sold, loaned out Bellerin. So it would either be Cedric or Callum Chambers competing. And Tommy S is just an upgraded Callum Chambers, to be fair. He's much better in every department. Right centre-back, Ben White, signed in from Brighton. Used to playing in the back three. I'm going to use him in the back four today, uh, today for my preferred formation. Obviously, 50 million, you don't bench a 50 million pound signing. <laughs> like, come on, don't get it twisted. He's playing games. Next to him, I think Gabriel. We'll see the best of Ben White when he's next to Gabriel, because Gabriel's our best defender. Best defender by a mile. He's levels above Pablo Mari. He's faster, stronger. Obviously, he's a bit younger, so he hasn't got the experience, but he makes up for it in his athleticism. I think he's a much better defender than Pablo Mari. And he next uh, Ben White. Let's see if they form a good partnership together. Left back, of course, Kieran Tini, one of the first names on the team sheet. Mr. Consistent, 6 out of 10 at every single game, at least. So yeah, now for me, when we're attacking, I see Tierney pushing up the field as another left winger. And I see Tommy Asu slotting back. So it'll be a back three of Tommy Asu right centre-back, Ben White central centre-back and Gabriel left centre-back. So that's why I've gone for a back four. Because when we do def when we do attack, then three will form like a back three. And obviously, defending-wise, they'll slot back into a back four with maybe someone like Partey slotting in. So yeah, I'm going to get into the midfield players now. For me... The midfielder has got to be Thomas Partey has to take up one of those spots. Has to. I'm going to put him as the right centre mid. It has to be uh, Partey for me. Left centre mid, I think it's going to fluctuate per game, to be fair. I think in games where we want to be very defensively sound against a team like Liverpool, Man City, for example, Chelsea, Man United, I think he'll play someone like Lokonga, maybe. Just for the fact that he's, I think he's better defensively than Xhaka. But I think for games where we need to, like Norwich, obviously Xhaka won't play because he's got a red card, but like, Games like that where we need to be more expansive, need to break down teams. I think he needs Jacker in there just because he's he's that extra pass. He's a great passer for midfield. Of course, he has concentration issues and stuff and lapses all over the place. But he is a great passer of the football. So I think he needs to go next to Thomas Partey. And them two together, to be fair, last season, when Jacker and Partey played together, they were good together. When Jacker's on the team without someone better than him in midfield, he, he it's over. It's over for us. Our midfield falls apart. And similarly, I think Xhaka does complement Partey. Cam Odegaard for me, just someone that can unlock a door, make a pass, make a killer pass when we need it. I saw him last season, he made some great pass. I remember against Crystal Palace where he dinked one over the top to Martinelli to score. Like, what a pass. Not, not many footballers on planet Earth can make a pass like that. And Odegaard's one of those players. Left wing, for me, I'm going to play Emil Smith Rowe there. Because the way I'm devising this formation is that because Tierney and Attack is going to bomb up the left and form like a left winger, Emil Smith-Rowe is going to slot inside and become like a left forward, left cam. So we have two players like Erdegaard and Emil Smith-Rowe that become the playmakers in the football team. So obviously, indefensively, Emil Smith-Rowe will drop back. He'll be good, like the left defender in a way. And then Tierney will slot back into like a more uh, inside role. But attacking-wise, Tierney's up there, left wing. 
literally whipping balls in left, right, centre. Smith Rowe can drop inside, inverted inside. So yeah, Emil Smith Rowe left wing. I think that will work really well him and Tierney. Right wing for me, Bukayo Saka. He has to get in the team somehow, some way. And if that means we're benching Pepe for Bukayo, I'll take that every day of the week. Him next to Tommy Asu, it's a new partner for him. The thing with Saka, I find, is with Pepe, he's only good if the player behind him is really good. He played really well on the left wing. Pepe's not a better left winger than right winger. He's a better right winger. But because Tierney was left wing, he got the best out of Pepe. With Saka, he doesn't really matter who's behind him. He'll do good anywhere. So having Tomiyasu there, if them two can form a partnership together, that's great. But even if it Tomiyasu is just a defender, I trust Saka to be able to make something happen on his ones, make, be the catalyst for the football team. So yeah, Saka has to start right wing. And strike it, it has to be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He's just a finisher. He's a poacher. He gets goals. And if you get him firing... He's literally the, our hope to push us up this Premier League table. Because we can only go up from 20th. You can't go down. So we need him on forms. Yeah, that would be my base formation. That's the strongest lineup for me. As I already said, I'm going to touch on it again. I'm going to go. The attacking formation for me would be a back three of Tomiyasu, uh, Ben White, Gabriel, Partey, and Xhaka holding. And then Erdegaard and Emil Smith are kind of slotted in. Saka obviously slotted in there. So it becomes like a three with Emil Smith or Erdegaard. Saka, Tierney will be pushed well up high to kind of whip balls in. And of course, Aubameyang in the box to score. Defensively, I see Partey maybe dropping in a bit to kind of cut passing lanes. I see Xhaka man marking someone. And of course, um, Saka, Odegaard and Mil Smith will drop in to form like a free like wall to stop the balls coming in. to stop the Because obviously teams are going to pass from centre-back into the midfield to create the attack. Then they're going to shield that. And of course, Aubameyang will press the defenders from the front. So yeah. That's just been my a quick video to go through my formation for Arsenal, my strongest eleven. Of course, we have opportunity to replace some of these players. Ramsdale could come and go instead of Leno, etc. Yeah, that's just my feelings on it. Let me know your preferred formation in the comment section down below and your starting players. If there's anything you disagree with, please let me know. This is, of course, my opinion. I'm open to hearing all you, your guys' opinions. I respond, read and respond to all comments. And if you're around here, please consider subscribing on my road to uh, 600 now, not 700 yet. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.